There are so many unanswered questions about the validity and integrity of the election for president. And even if the legal challenges are resolved and a clear winner emerges without doubt, there are some changes that we as citizens, regardless of party, ought to demand for future elections. Now, would you like to hear them? Yes. Good, because I'm gonna share them with you anyway, so I'm glad you wanted to hear them. All right, here's the first thing. We ought to give as much credence to polls as we would to a Ouija board or a $10 fortune teller at the county fair, okay? Because for the past two presidential election cycles, we have had polls that were so wrong, they might as well have named me president. Hmm. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. <laughs> All right, let's be blunt. The polls weren't just off. They were as bad as a weatherman predicting a snowstorm in Miami on the 4th of July. <laughs> it's time pollsters stop pretending that they know more than we do, and it's way past time that news organizations and corporations stop paying them big bucks for being less reliable than Mr. Magoo reading road signs. <laughs> That's how bad they are. I mean, their methods, their methods are outdated. And some use reporting of polls as a fundraising tool or as a means of voter suppression. But the polling business has become as useless as the business of selling rotary dial phones with the party line. And there's only a handful of us here who even know what that is. And let's stop the ridiculous presidential debates, which aren't even close to debates. They just aren't. They're television shows. And they're designed to feature the personalities of the moderators and to get ratings, which equal big dollars for the networks. Look, I debated in high school and in college. And what is called a presidential debate is little more than a forum featuring TV people who get to decide what the topics are gonna be instead of the topics being decided by the candidates who actually had the guts to run for something. So, if, um, if we're gonna do these things, let's have a real debate. No moderator at all, no moderator. Two candidates on the stage like gladiators facing each other. Each one gets exactly the same amount of time. There's a clock set before both candidates and it runs when they talk and it stops when they stop. If they interrupt the other, it counts against their time. And when their time runs out, their mic's cut off. And then they're done, except for a two minute closing. And by the way, if they wanna use all of their time on the first question, they can do that, and then stand around eating a sandwich while the other candidate gives his or her message. Most importantly, let's tell the media they don't pick the winners, the voters do. I am sick of the so-called decision desk of some news organization projecting the winner. Now imagine if LSU and Arkansas are playing in the SEC championship. I say imagine because neither one of them are headed there this year, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but let's imagine that that's what's happening. LSU is leading by a point late in the fourth quarter with just seconds to play. Arkansas has got the ball on the LSU five yard line, first and goal. If the Razorbacks score, they win with a field goal or a touchdown. Either way, all I gotta do is score. Suddenly, out of the stands, a fan wearing an LSU jersey rushes to the field and announces, all right, the game is over. I'm calling it for LSU. Forget the clock or even the referees. I've decided it's over. Would anyone accept that? No. Of course not. So why on earth do we tolerate unelected and unofficial and mostly unknown hacks at a network or newspaper deciding who won when all the votes haven't even been counted. Yes. Folks, I have read, thank you. I've actually read the Constitution thoroughly and there's nothing in there that even suggests that elections are decided when the media makes an announcement. So I started by asking if you wanted to hear my ideas to reform the system. Aren't you glad you said yes? Yeah. yeah, me too. And if you didn't want to hear, aren't you glad you did anyway? Now, 
Now all I have to do is to convince the rest of America. Wait, don't click that button. Well, unless it was the subscribe button, and then carry on. And while you're down there, hit that little notification bell too. Oh, and if you leave a like and a comment, I will personally give my dog Toby a treat. <laughs> leave a like, feed a dog, as I always say.